still a long way to go at single digit temperature i'm sweating so you see uh, so you might come across a brown bear and i think my wife has already made her choice so i have no choice left hello good morning for day 2 and krakow so it's already 6:30 in the morning and if you're guessing that we have not taken bath then you're missed it right because our today's plan has uh going to be very adventurous uh and it is also going to include a different kind of a bath so that's why we have not decided to not take a bath and go for a long adventurous day and end it with an amazing natural bath no it's not a natural bath i guess let's see we'll figure it out stay tuned <laughs> This is our ride for today. So this is going to be our personal private ride. It's a Mercedes van, and now uh, the drive is for two hours, depending on the traffic conditions. And uh, it's gonna it's gonna get late if we leave at seven o'clock. So we are we have to leave, and Akshat has just gone to get the juice, and there she is. One and a half hours of drive. We have reached to this location for a quick break, and apparently there is supposed to be a good view from this deck. But it's quite foggy today. And as you can see, a lot of steam. I can imagine if the you know the clouds are very clear, it would be very pretty. So we have reached to the parking spot. Uh, the car is parked here. Now we are supposed to take an entry ticket, and the trek begins. So there are a few warnings. Uh, I'll talk about it on the way. Let's continue with the ticketing stuff first. So we have started to walk. I decided to trek the whole way. Otherwise, you can take these carriages, and uh, so they charge hundred. Uh, What Slotties. is lotties? Polish lotties. The way up, and sixties lotties the way down. So yes, so we have a lot of people walking along with us on the trek. There is a group of school kids. The time is one second. It's nine o'clock, nine o one, nine o'clock. Don't figure. So it takes two hours of a trek uh, or a hike to reach the top. Okay, so the location. I have not mentioned the location. Now we are trekking uh, uh, towards the Tatra Mountains. So it's a national park, and we are gonna reach a very beautiful lake at the end of the hike. And it's gonna be a lot of fun. So there are two, three warnings that have been given to us. Is there are a lot of animals uh, throughout the trek. So you might come across a brown bear. a lot of deer so the instruction is simple and clear don't engage with with them uh, they will not try to engage with you don't feed them any food uh, because they can get aggressive so yes even so, the deer even the deer so yes so that's what it is and i'm going to do less of talking because we have to do a lot of walking and i'm going to show you the trek overall exactly yes I am too. Let's go.
the forest is so dense. Look at it. You can barely see more than 30 40 meters. Yeah. And we are climbing up up. I think there's still a long way. Still a long way to go. So now our body has gotten warmed up and this jacket is literally making me sweat inside. So she getting feeling hot. Look at her. So I think what we are going to do and I'm starting to feel hungry because of all the walking. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a pause at the next rest stop. Half an hour, 40 minutes we walked, continuous and it was a steep, steep climb. Not steep, I would say uh, no, it was a medium, yeah, above was. medium level steep. So yeah, at single digit temperature, I'm sweating. So you see, uh, it's around 9, 10 degrees, cold. And also wanted to mention you get this portable toilets and this rest stops every quite often. And no, normally, not quite often, they have also yeah. written on that toilet when is the next toilet. So, people who can't decide if they want to go here, there's so a you can, yeah, you okay. can uh, guess okay, it's, it's next 40 minutes, 30 minutes. Can I hold it in or no? And you take a call if you want to take the nature's call or not. So, we have a choice to make this or this. So, if we choose the tarmac, it's going to take us. 25 one hour 25 minutes and if you choose this stone road it's gonna take a one hour 10 minutes and i think my wife has already made her choice so i have no choice left she has already chosen this path so i think it's already decided change of plan so as you know <laughs> we took the steeper route and ultimately we are taking the same time because we are walking slower because the terrain is difficult and we are taking like more much more breaks because it's a steep climb now we are back on tarmac happy realization so the horse carriage will bring you till up here I think there is still one kilometer ish trek left which you have to walk so our trek continues we are walking in the clouds look it's completely foggy what is the height he mentioned? 1500 or 3000 I don't know, I forgot even I forgot Maybe we'll get an information board 
once we reach the lake and that's when we that's when we will talk about the facts so i think we have reached the unfortunate thing is that it's quite foggy today and i'm not sure how clear the lake is going to be it's down. We love to see the mountains. Yeah. So, the surprise awaits after this small climb. Okay, so here is the information. Morski Oko Lake. So, this is what we are supposed to expect to look at. And we are 1,395 meters above sea level. Uh, looking looking at the clouds and the fog ahead i am very doubtful if we are going to be lucky to look at the lake oh let's see what happens so apparently not so lucky look yeah it's the lake there and the rest of it is all fog We have started our trek down, hike down. Uh, we waited for some time. Unfortunately, the fog did not clear. Why? Uh, and uh, then we have another plans for the day. So we can't waste much time. So our hike down begins. Okay. So we are almost at the start point. That P parking board is the start point. Uh, so the whole hike is of almost 16 to 18 kilometers and uh, while going up it took us 2 hours 45 minutes we took a lot of pauses <laughs> and breaks and uh, while coming down it took, our, took us 1 hour 1 and a half hour so here we did not stop much because gravity was doing almost all the work <coughs> And if I have to say how was my experience, the hike, hike was amazing. Unfortunately, it was too cloudy and foggy at the lake and we could not get to see the beautiful, magnificent view of the whole landscape. And what, what, was, what is your view? Yeah, it's a good experience. Uh, the lake is beautiful, but obviously we didn't get to see the surrounding mountains yeah the valley is also very nice yeah i got to understand like how the yeah. valley is so if i would recommend yes definitely do it yeah.